If someone used the words super mini, practicality, efficiency and style in the same sentence, the Ford Fiesta might be the first car to come to mind. But what about this, the Peugeot 208? With a history of great small cars, namely the 205 and 306, can the latest petite addition to the French car maker's range make the cut? Well, let's see, shall we? If you've seen any Peugeot adverts lately, you'll know they've decluttered their interiors, tidying up the dashboard design. And the 208 is a great example of how they've done this with a plum. In this kit-heavy special edition style model, everything is well laid out, and it gives you everything you need, from sat-nav to DAB radio, and rear parking sensors to a panoramic sunroof. Standard kit is also okay, with cruise control, front electric windows, and six airbags. Due to the 208 sporty exterior, you'll be pleasantly surprised with the amount of space in here, in terms of both head and legroom in this 5-door version. It is worth noting that the 208 is available in both 3- and 5-door variants, with the latter making rear access a bit easier. And when it comes to boot space, although the 208 is smaller than the Fiesta with the seats in place, offering 285 litres compared to 290, it trumps its full competition with the seats folded down. There are loads of engines available, but we're testing the three-cylinder 1.2-litre PureTech petrol, which emits 104 grams per kilometre, and realistically, you're looking at around 50 miles per gallon. The most wallet-friendly for running costs is a 1.4-litre diesel emitting 87 grams. There's a decent punch from this 1.2 engine with 82 brake horsepower, and it takes 12.2 seconds to reach 62 miles per hour, which is a second slower than the 1.0-litre EcoBoost unit in the Fiesta. The steering is on the light side, but that suits inner city driving, and overall driving dynamics are good. But still not as sharp as the Fiesta, especially around bends. If you really want a fun drive though, think about the 208 GTI. It is a noisy old thing though, with the engine making a minor racket at higher speeds, but ride is comfortable, making it perfect for speed bumps around town, where this car will spend much of its time. Also, one thing I must mention is the steering wheel. As part of the decluttering, Peugeot has shrunken it slightly, which takes some getting used to, believe me. There's no doubt that the 208 does exactly what Super Mini should. It's efficient, it's practical, and it looks the part. But the truth is, in the ring with the Ford Fiesta, the 208 can't quite match its driving dynamics, and this may ultimately be the deciding factor of the two, as both have a similar price tag. But what do you think? Has the Ford Fiesta finally found a worthy adversary? Let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.